episode seven. Almost done. But we're not done yet. Not yet. Uh, last week was a really fun episode. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us for the listening party. That was like one of the coolest things that's ever happened. And I hope that everyone who has watched this has listened to the album because I think it's really special. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a part of it. I remember the first time I ever heard the music, I was like, this right here, this is something special. Jamestown Revival did something with this one. All right. Um, this week is a big week. We have lots of rehearsals going on. We have lots of shows going on. And we have lots of social events going on. And um, I want you to hang out with me for all of them. So, episode seven, let's go. Hey, okay, tell everybody what's happening here. So this is Dollar Friday. Oh. It's a theater tradition. Okay. On Friday, we go around the entire theater and we ask for a dollar, okay. which is then put into a, a, bu a bucket, or as we call this, whatever we want to call this. And everyone drop, writes their name on a piece of paper and their cast affiliation. And in the intermission, we draw a name. And whoever wins gets to keep the entire bucket of money. It's all theirs. Dollar I Friday. am putting in two dollars, which means I write two things on the back of Kevin Solak's face, which is a great gift. I'll wait for you to focus. Right, <laughs> right. There we go. Okay, everyone, wish me best of luck. I didn't win Dollar Friday. I didn't win. But maybe next week. Maybe. Okay, so we have finished our first show. It is Saturday, Saturday night, and I believe today is National Wine Day. So I think I'm gonna go out, pick up some Franzia, which if you don't know what that is, it's probably better, um, so that we can have some wine for this wine night. But Wanze and I were speaking yesterday, and we were talking about the idea of having a dance party, just for like a couple of songs, just to like, boogie and get some feelings out, you know, get our energy up. This week has been a long week. We've had lots of Tony rehearsals and we've had to do our shows and we've had um, events here and there. It's a very busy season and it's all amazing and it's all very exciting, but it is also exhausting to do that on top of eight shows. And not just for us cast members, that's for the crew who have to set up the sets and like all of the bits and bobs that we need for the rehearsals. The shoes, our costume department is bringing our shoes from the theater to the rehearsal room so we're all our company management is working really hard to make sure that we're taken care of all day everybody across the boards is working really really hard this week and so I think we deserve a dance party I declare at 705 today we're having a dance party in the house so everybody who's anybody in this who makes this play happen is gonna dance tonight I'm gonna go out I'm gonna get some party gear. I don't know what that looks like quite yet, but you're going to come with me and we're going to find out. And we're going to dance. We're going to boogie our little booties off. Let's go. Okay, I am back from my my many escapades through New York City. I got um, said box wine. No, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? No brand deals here. And I also got some glow sticks for the dance party which I'm really excited about and also I would like to shout out the girl who got me these earrings in the step what was that at the stage door I thought they were so cute I took my earrings out right away and I put them in they're so precious nothing brings me more joy than when people are thoughtful and share gifts even if they're just like there was someone at the stage door who showed us a piece of art that they had drawn of character, of us, like as the characters, um, which was so cool. When you share little bits of who you are and how the story has impacted you, it, it comes through to us in those things that you want to share with us, and that's really special. And I feel uh, very grateful to be a part of something that has touched a lot of people. And um, these are so cute. <sighs> Dance party time. Now I have to make up a playlist so hopefully everyone loves it guys Chris one of our amazing crew members came by I told him that I was gonna go to like five blow or party city and try and find some glow-in-the-dark stuff oh, can you just drop by all of this stuff how nice is that I'll be expecting him in full glasses and bracelets and everything <laughs> amazing
pure joy. Ah, oh, I shan't forget it. I shan't. I shan't ever forget it. And I hope that you shan't either, because that was really special. <laughs> and now I have a million glow sticks. What will I do with them next? I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot in there. Wow. One, two, three, four. Um, take them. We deserve this. Okay, so many of you have been asking to get to know the pit and see a little bit about what our pit looks like. So I'm gonna take you down there, introduce you to some peeps, and uh, show you the ranks. Who are you? Hi, I'm Matt Hinckley. I'm the music director and co-orchestrator here at The Outsiders. Uh, and it has been given to me to show you into the pit. Well, yes! This is the pit. This is where the So we actually have two happen. pits. This is the main pit. Uh, some people call it the grit pit. I call it the <gasps> rhythm section pit because I'm boring. Uh, <laughs> there's another place where our strings and our reed player live. We call that the sidecar. Okay, cool. So we've got, this is where you sit, right? This is where I sit. This is the head honcho right. seat. Here I come. Here, here I come. Here he here comes come. to save the day. So I do like a lot of my organ stuff up mm -hmm. here. I do like Wurlitzer and electric piano things here. So cool. I have like 18,000 video monitors for different <gasps> things. Oh, cool. Lots of different pedals and things. And I can, wow. Here I can see myself conducting so that I know if I'm doing things uh, in a way that makes sense to anybody. That's fierce. Um, I can even spy on the sidecar here in this video monitor. Oh, whoa. So can see what they're doing. That's amazing. Okay, so then we've got... That is a, a real life call piano. It Keys One, which wow. is piano, yeah. That's where Mr. Mark Meadows, our associate music director, sits. Cheers. Uh, Freddie Holler, guitar two. Guitar playing. On the other side, we have Matt Becker, guitar two. Another and guitar. Alex Eckhart, our bass player. Bow, 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 bow. And then Jamie Eblen is in what I call the animal cage oh, in there, wow. which he has expertly decorated. It looks amazing. Say. Look at that. Yeah, yeah he's that's. A, he's an Etsy master. Wow. And his doggy. And you can't... Oh, Space number two. Hi, this is Matt Hinkley, music director and co-work. Uh, so this is what we refer to as the sidecar. Cheek. Uh, and it's a very weird door. It's a heavy door. It's not really a heavy door. Uh, and then we have violin, we have cello, and we have our reed player in her studio apartment. In her space. Amazing. And so they get to see our show on this monitor. And then they get to see you they right see there. They see via video, and then everybody has one of these. Um, sometimes we just call them avioms because it's like the Kleenex of hearback systems. But these are actually they're made by Allen and Heath, but it's everybody's own uh, little personal mixer, so they can dial in uh, sort of exactly what they want to hear and the levels of all the different instruments and vocals and things. So that includes us too. They can listen to us that and choose to have us really loud. You. It does include you. I have you very loud. <laughs> yeah, I hear, that's I nice. I hear everything. <laughs> Thanks, my Hinkley. You're very welcome. Hey, my Hinkley, can I ask you a question? Sure. What would you say, it doesn't have to be your favorite, but what right. is possibly one of your most like memorable parts of making the album musically? Like, what's one part when you listen to it, you're like, ooh, ooh yeah. Making the album musically, it's, I'm going to answer your question by not answering your question. I love it's it. It's just uh, Justin and Jamestown and I, and of course everybody else, and Danya and the, musicians, actors, everybody, like we put so much work into developing and building this thing and it's not every time you do a cast recording that all that work like really feels like it's been authentically captured mm -hmm. and that's the most satisfying thing for me for this album is that it feels like it is truly an authentic, real rep representation of the work that we've done that like lives and breathes in that format in a way that you know, you're always nervous it won't. That's amazing. That's a great answer, actually. I love that answer. Thanks, Matt Hinkley. You're very welcome. Yay. You are and what you do? <laughs> My name is Matt Beck. I play guitar for the show The Outsiders. Amazing. Okay, now, we just recorded our cast album, and it was yes. just released. What is one part in the cast album that you loved to play and that you love to hear back? Far away from Tulsa. It's one of my favorite songs, if not my favorite song on the show. Oh, I, love I get to do a lot of like cool lap steel, like uh -huh. slidey stuff in it, and I love it. Yeah. Gives me gives me chills. Yeah. Hey, tell us who you are and what you do. Hey everybody, I'm Freddie Hall. I play guitar here at the Outsiders. Now I'm one of two guitar players. Oh, here. that's right, that's right. Your seat is the one next to Mark's seat. Yeah, yeah. And so we want to know what is one of your favorite moments from recording the album. Uh. One of my favorite moments uh, was recording Soda's Letter because I recorded it with John of Jamestown Revival fame. He played the other guitar part on that song, so it was really cool. A little bit of bragging rights, no big deal. Well, yes! I'm on a track with John. Hey, can you tell us who you are and what you do? I'm Jamie Eblen, I play drums and cymbals. Hey, listen, I want to know what's your, like, what's your favorite moment in the record that you're like, oh, that's me! 
Oh, probably Justice for Tulsa drum break. I think we all kind of feel that no, way. No, exactly. Yeah. I think we all do. Yeah. Well, yes. yeah. Can you tell us who you are and what you do? Hey, my name is Mark G. Meadows. Um, I play the piano in the show, and I'm also the associate conductor. Yeehaw! Okay, Yeehaw! now listen, I got a question. What is one part in the record that you're like, oh, that was me? Honestly, great expectations. <gasps> I feel like I can be, uh, I, I, I bring out some artistry, I, I believe, and I hope and believe in that. That and Greece, Greece got a hold. I don't know. Right. That is there. You know is what there, I mean? Is, is the record? <laughs> All that stuff. Okay, and is there any, like, memory from the recording session that you're like, and I'll never be forgetting this? Throwing in the towel. Right. Really? Throwing in the towel. I played that. Most of the songs I played on an upright piano. Okay. That song I played on the grand piano. <gasps> and just, I mean, from the first take, it was just like. It was just like so full and round and wow. yeah. It just, I, it was magic. I mean, like some I've I played many recording sessions. Some yeah. sessions like, oh, it was great. Some sessions you're like, everybody, there was something else in the room that was just moving through us and that was one of those. Period. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Okay, hey, so tell me who you are and what you do. My name is Clarita Ultime and I am the cellist. Yes. The show. Okay, now tell me from the record, what is one moment that you're like, oh my gosh, that's me? Uh, I guess I would say it's literally two measures in Runs in the Family and it's just like a little cello line that comes out and it's just a highlight of me. And then what is one memory from the recording day that you'll never forget um i'll never forget how beautiful it was how sunny it was but also just seeing the cast members outside just playing football with each other it was just so great to see the family doing family things oh, I love off that. the stage <laughs> so right yeah, i love it <laughs> okay tell me who you are and what you do i'm noelle noelle rushman yes. and i am the replayer chic how many instruments do you play here i play three but in real life all the flutes, clarinets, and saxophones. Fear. So the list goes on and on. Honey, the limit does not exist. Okay, <laughs> tell me what's one moment in the record that you're like, oh, that's me. It has to be Grease Got a Hold. Okay. Right in the beginning when the Barry Sax comes in with the bass line, with bass and drums, and it's like, it just cuts through and I just love it. It's gnarly. It's a nice part. And hey, can you tell me who you are and what you do? Oh, hey, what's up? I'm Justin Smith. I'm the violinist. Yeehaw. Now, hey, listen, is there any part in this album that you you were so excited about recording? Oh, well, many things, but um, uh, the last thing we recorded was Grease, uh, Grease Got a Hold, mm -hmm. and uh, the band just loves to play that tune. And, <laughs> you know, we were not under time pressure uh, at that at that moment, which is uh, something that uh, anybody making a Broadway cast album should be proud of. Yeah. And uh, and you know the the cast and band crushed, and it was a great delight. I think we played it five times just for fun. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. Call me Cherry. Episode seven coming to a close. A little quicker than I thought it would. I mean, I. I yeah, time flies by when you're having fun, I guess. I mean, we had lots of fun this week. We had a dance party for 10 minutes, which was super fun. You got to see those amazing cupcakes made by our ASM Mark. You got to meet some of the band, check out the pit, and hear about some of their favorite music, music moments in our cast album. So now maybe you can go back and listen and listen for those moments, and you can think about that person that is playing it in that moment. I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, Y'all, next week is our final episode. I have to do something special. I don't know what it is yet. Gotta go out with a bang, but also I think I might be a little bit emotional. Who's to say? Me, because I know I have really big feelings, but I feel very loved and cared for when I share them, so thanks for letting me share them with you. And thanks for hanging out with me. I love um, getting to hang out with you guys and do these vlogs. I'm really, you know what? I'm gonna shout out Broadway.com really quickly and say thank you. Thank you for trusting me with these vlogs and giving me the chance to connect to people I would have never been able to connect to before. And that will get us ready for episode eight, our finale, our final Call Me Cherry. <laughs> Till next week. <laughs>